So um, just to kind of review what I've learned as far as the um, crestal approach, I'm going to go in with a pilot drill short of the sinus floor. Um, then I may go up to um, a three um, millimeter um, drill and um, open it up a little bit. Then if I want to stay with the 4.1, I may want to stop there and do an osteotome and tap into the sinus, maybe about two millimeters and start putting my graft and then place the implant. Is that kind of a good summary of that? It's, it's a great summary. You start by first step, finding the sinus floor. Although you know that it's 7.8 more or less, you drill to the sinus floor, take a direction indicator, take an X-ray, periapical verification X-ray, make sure that you're there. If you're not there, drill another half a millimeter, take another X-ray. Once you found the floor, start expanding it to three up to four millimeters of diameter, then add your two scoops of bone graft, gently tap them in, keep the tapping, take another X-ray, and if you see the dome developing, Awesome, man. You just, you're there. Don't over tap it because now you know that you kept the integrity of the membrane. All you need to do is add two more scoops, place your implant. You probably don't have to go to a five because the bone, you know, it's the maxilla. It's not the densest bone.